What's going on people and welcome to my preview for tomorrow's FA Cup semi-final game Brighton versus Manchester United and my starting 11 for tomorrow's game. Half four kickoff at Wembley. I've got to say I'm excited for it but I'm also very concerned and I'm not expecting a lot from it because Brighton are a really, really, really tough team and I actually think they're a better team than us at the moment. So I'm going into this with limited expectations. If we do win... It's a bonus because I really do think that they are a better team than us at the moment. Despite what the table says, they're not that far away from us in the table. And I think at the moment, confidence-wise, chemistry, injuries and fitness as well for key players, they trump us in all of it, I believe. So, as I said, I'm worried about it. I don't expect us to win. So if we do, it's a bonus for me and then we're in the final. But then we're probably going to have to play Manchester City, who are currently winning against Sheffield United. Not feeling optimistic about it, I've got to be honest. Yes, we could pull up a performance and, and get into the final. It wouldn't be the first time we've done it um, against the odds. But I think it'd be harsh on Brighton. As I said, I think they're a better team than us currently. I think they've got more ball players than us. I think they've got more confidence than us. And on form, I think they're the better team. So we're going to have to be at it to progress to the final. And then even if we make the final, I don't fancy us because it's City. So it's a tough one. I think our best chance, as I said, was the Europa League, which we're now out of. We still have to just play who we have to play at the time and, and hope we can win. I just don't fancy us tomorrow. So that's my thoughts on it. Line up, David De Gea, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Lindelof and Luke Shaw as the centre-backs. Aaron Bissaka at right back, and then I'd go Malasia left back. Uh, Bruno, Fred, and Casemiro in a three of in a midfield um, because I don't think the two was working and it hasn't for a while. And I think we need the numbers in the midfield, especially against a ball playing possession team like Brighton with a lot of intensity as well. There's going to be a lot of work that midfielders are going to have to do, and I think we need three in the midfield rather than two. So I'd go Bruno on the right, Fred on the left, and Casemiro in the middle. And then front three, I'd go Anthony on the right. I'd go Veghorst at nine. And then I'd go Rashford on the left. A lot of people probably not fancying Veghorst for the striking position. But Martial is not available. What's new? Um, we've got, they don't fancy bringing any youth in. And I wouldn't for this game anyway. But it'd be nice to see some youth players get a chance at some point. Or just another signing. Because Veghorst clearly isn't good enough for this team and this level. But with no Martial, we have no choice. Unless you play someone there like a Bruno or a Rashford, which I think I don't think you should be doing that either. So I'd go with Veghorst simply out of no options at nine, and then I'd go Rashford on the left. I'm a big fan of Matoma for Brighton. I think he's an absolute baller. So he worries me tomorrow. McAllister, absolute baller, and a recently a World Cup winner as well. Welbeck will probably play, and it wouldn't surprise me if he scores, being a former United player coming back to bite us because I think he's very underrated. Dunk at centre-back, I think, is a very underrated defender. they got some decent players. Solly March, another one that's underrated for me. they just got players all over the pitch, so they worry me hugely. I'm not expecting us to win tomorrow. Prediction, I think we'll be lucky to take it to extra time. I don't think it'll go penalties. I think it'll go extra time at most, but I think that they'll do us in, in normal time, to be honest. I'm going to go 2-1 go to Brighton. That is my prediction, guys, and my lineup. Let me know yours in the comments and tune in for it tomorrow and support the boys. Hopefully, we can get to a final, but I still can't see us winning this tournament, so it is what it is. I'll be back Monday, obviously, with the post match recap and the ratings for this game tomorrow. Look out for that, and I'll see you guys soon.